Hi. Has anyone ever told you sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will never hurt me? Well, this week's parsha, Parashat Tazria, teaches us otherwise. This week's parsha tells us about the process of mitzora. It tells us the process of a person who gets something on their skin, and they go to the kohen and they ask them what to do uh, about that blemish on their skin, and the kohen. Uh, decides whether they are a mitzora or not. And Chazal teaches us that the sin for which a person becomes a mitzora is for telling Lashon Hara. So uh, it, the rabbis teach us in the Gemara that Zot Tiye Torah Mitzora. Mitzora is short for Motzi Shem Ra, someone who goes around slandering other people. And this is a punishment for the mitzora. Now the mitzora, once he is decided to be mitzora, is sent out of the camp and told to wait outside until he becomes pure. The Pasuk tells us, Badad yeshev mechutza machaneh. He has to sit uh, alone outside of the machaneh. This punishment of sitting outside of the machaneh is so serious that it's not paralleled with any other tuma. A tame meis, a person who has any other kind of tuma, does not have to be so isolated. It's only the mitzora. He's the one and only that has to go outside and become so secluded. And the question is, why do we give such a serious punishment to Mitzorah? Why is it that we give such a punishment to a person who spoke Lashon Hara, Tamotzi Shemra, that they have to be so isolated? They have to be away from everyone. They can't be with anyone. They can't talk to other people. They're stuck outside of the camp. And the answer is because when a person speaks Lashon Hara, what are they hoping to accomplish? What they're hoping to accomplish is they want to become accepted. They want to gain friends. However, they want to do it the wrong way. They want to gain friend, friends at the expense of another person. By slandering another person, they hope to become more popular. And it's to stop that process that the Torah tells us, no, that is no way to become more popular. That is no way to gain friends. Badad yeshev michutz Words are very powerful. Words can hurt others. And if a person... Uh, advances their own status by hurting others, that's something that's unacceptable. And there's a beautiful mashal given by the Chafetz Chaim about this topic. The Chafetz Chaim says one day a uh, charlatan came to town and he came looking very fancy and he was dressed all nice. Um, and he sees someone who's visiting the town too, that someone that's a guest, and he says, well, let me show you around, I'll be your friend. And uh, the person is touched by this uh, generosity and the charlatan takes him around and is really nice to him. And then he says, you know what? It looks like you're hungry. Let me take you to the fanciest restaurant in the city. And the person is touched. He's so moved by this offer to be taken to the fanciest restaurant in the city. They go, they sit there, and they order plenty of food. And suddenly at a point when the uh, person that was taken to the restaurant looks away for a moment, the charlatan, after eating a lot and ordering a very expensive meal, p picks up and leaves. Um, and the victim is left to pay for the entire meal. And that's exactly what happens when someone tells the other person Lashon Hara, the Chafetz Chaim explains. When another person tells another person Lashon Hara, they are showing their friendship. They're saying, I'm your friend. Let me show you how good I am to you. Let me tell you about other people. But in essence, in truth, what's really happening is he's damaging the other person. He's not doing him a favor because at the end, the person who will pay for this, the person who's going to end up paying the price for hearing this Lashon Hara, for being involved in the Lashon Hara, will be uh, the person listening. So the lesson of this week's Parsha is that Making friends at the expense of others is something that's not acceptable. It's a lesson that words can hurt and do hurt, and that sticks and stones can break, bro can break bones, but names hurt even more. So the lesson is um, that the Torah sees words as very powerful, and therefore we have such strong warnings against speaking Lashon Hara. Thank you so much for listening, and have a good Shabbos.